Hello and welcome to Chess Now for January 28th, 2010. 20, oh, yeah, 2010. I almost forgot what year this is. This is episode 62, filmed in widescreen format. To assist in the development of this program, please volunteer by becoming, uh, by becoming a what? In any case, visit MNN for details. Uh, Manhattan residents only. Let's see what game we could get going on here. Oh, yeah, guys. And no, we don't have an iPad in the studio. Oh, keep it a contemporary. Well done, Lester, on, the, on the, that one. Hi, guys. Checker Phil here. And uh, first off, I wanted to uh, welcome our, nor our normal iconoclast of chess over here. Let's give it up for George Grasser. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Chess expert, master of all he surveys. And today's guest that we have, our, our super guest star that we have, in from Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, let's give it up for Carlos. Welcome, Carlos. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Have any choice words in Portuguese to say? Uh, how do you say chess in uh, Portuguese? Uh, xadrez. Ah, sounds very, very well. All right, well, what's good and on? Good luck. Right on. All right, wait, wait, wait. Uh, let's Carlos get this. Is playing D4, queen uh -huh. pawn opening. Okay. Pawn hits E5. Yeah. And C5. Right on. So I'm going to play the Dutch defense. Pawn to F5. The Dutch defense. I like to play the Dutch oven myself, but I, I don't know. People usually don't like it very much. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, hey. What's he doing? Pawn to C4. Is this called anything special? Still the Dutch defense. Okay. I'm going to play knight to F6. Get my knight out towards the center. Yeah, excuse me while I whip this knight out. Carlos is doing the same thing. All right. Knight out towards the center. Mm-hmm. Wow, looking forward to this. Now, how long have you been playing? Uh, uh, I stopped playing chess when I was like Pawn to eight, e nine years old, uh -huh. but I got a little serious when I was in high school. Oh, okay. At some point, I got books, I studied some openings. All right, hold on, wait a second, just talk about what Carlos you Carlos has did. played bishop to g5, pinning my knight on f6. Mm-hmm. Can't move that without losing a queen, I mean. Yeah, that's correct. Can hey, I, I hear there's some calls coming in. Yeah, guys, you can call in now. The number is 212-757-1483 for people that want to talk to the folks here at Chess Now. Okay, I'm going to play this pawn, is live. pawn to B6. Pawn to, pawn to B6? Mm. I get my bishop on C8 out. Okay. Playing pawn to A3. Mm. What does that do? Well, he play, wants to play pawn to B4, expand a little bit on the queen side. Couldn't he have just moved two? Well, he wants to exp exp expand with this pawn. Oh, I see, and I see. I kind of tried to avoid the bishop, cover my knight here, like I did with his. And yeah, he doesn't want the bishop. Let's see. I don't believe it. I'm getting a call. Somebody's giving me a call here on, on the, what you call it? It's hey, okay. who, hello, who, who's calling chess now? So I played bishop to, bishop hello? to b Hello? Hello? Anybody out there? Is there anybody out there? Eh, I guess not. Pawn to d5. Wow, we're moving at a rapid fire clip here. <laughs> yes. Hello? Oh, wait a second. Hello? Oh. Hey, yeah, yeah, this is Phil. Hey, Keith, how's it going? Man? Yo, check it. Um, actually, actually uh, I'm. Hello? I, oh, hey, well, uh, I'm going to call you back. Hello, who's this? Hello, who's this? Hello? Hey, why are you teasing us with all these calls? Let's have people call in. <laughs> Anybody? All right, guess not. Call in now, 757-1483. Chess now. Talk to some people that are really good at chess, or just talk to me either way. All right. Okay, I'm going to bypass this d5 pawn by playing pawn to e5. Ooh, okay. Mm-hmm. Hello. Anybody? People are calling in. Okay, Carlos has played pawn to e4. Mm. What am I hearing? Somebody's playing music to us. Music is playing. Do you hear? Hello, who's yeah. this? This is Michael from the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Oh, oh, hey, what's your name again? 
Mikhail. Hey, Mikhail. How are you feeling today? I'm good. How are you? I'm cool, man. So you're ever playing in the parks over there? Yeah, um, no, I, I am not that good yet. I, I'm still learning a bit. Um, but you have a fine show today, and if I may, I'd like to comment on a the recent uh, chess developments in Russia. Oh, sure. Okay, what's going on in Russia right now? Um, I don't know if you if you saw the New York Times the other day, the article. What is that? Um, in, in uh, Russia, they developed um, the best chess computer program uh, ever. Really? And, um, yes. And, and, and just last week, the chess grandmaster um, Jonathan Tanner uh, played against it. It was the best of five matches on, te <coughs> on, on television. And how do you do? And, and um, Jonathan Tanner won uh, first two matches. Computer won next two matches. And then um, Jonathan Tanner accomplished a great feat. What? He um, did the whole computer on his asshole. Oh, you know, yeah, good one. You did I don't believe I got caught out there with that. That I, you, is that was that a real chess person? No. Dude, Hello? let me know. Let me know if you uh, are cranking what us. What was the name of the chess Hello? program? Hello, who's this? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, um, what, what part did I get cut off on? A what? What? what part did it get cut off on? Uh, the part where you started cursing and saying about <laughs> sticking the thing up his butt. All right, okay, thank you. All right, can we get another caller, please? Oh, yeah, thank you. Good one. Uh, I okay. tell you. What I'm going to do Can't is get away from the crunch because the crunch always gives you away. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that pawn. Okay, go ahead. Pawn and f5 takes e4. Okay, so we're losing weight. What just happened? Wait a second, something just happened. So what you Carlos do? decided to... Recapture with his knight. Recapture is a good idea, right? Again, putting more pressure on the f6 knight that I have there. Ah, let's see, I see. But now, I think I shall just break the pin. How are you going to break that pin? How am I going to break the pin? Yes, yes. Well, I'll just break it by putting my bishop onto e7. Okay. Hey, wait a second. All right, so you pushed it, but he, he, he took. He captured. Okay. He captured. Now, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to take back. Wait, wait, yeah. With. Uh-huh. I don't want to take back with the pawn because uh -huh. the queen is going to check me. Okay, okay. So I'm going to take back with the bishop. Okay. Bishop e7 takes f6. Ah, but all right. Let's see what he's doing. Okay. He's bringing out his other knight. Keep developing my piss. Yeah, uh, keep on developing, I'd say. All right. Fascinating. I always like to open with the. Okay, now I'm going to play pawn to d6. Okay. Support my e5 pawn. Uh huh. Place pawn to g3. He's gonna get his bishop out via g2. Uh huh. Maybe even h3. Mm hmm. Boy, I tell you, the tension here, you can cut it with a knife. Well, I want to stop him from bringing the bishop out to h3, so what I'm going to do is this bishop is hemmed in now anyway since the pawn formation has changed. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play bishop so to c8. So you can move there, there's nothing else that can be done. Uh huh. What are you going to do next? Oh, okay. All right, well, we can take some calls if you have some sane callers around. Two and two, seven five seven, fourteen eighty three. Carlos has played bishop to g two to develop the bishop from f one to g two, so uh -huh. now he can castle king side. Go for it. So I will castle king side right now. Okay. So some castling action. I'm going to stop Carlos from playing pawn to b5 for as long as I can okay. and play pawn to a5. Yeah. Oh. Let's see. I wonder if we'll get a game done again. I'm so happy that we've been getting games finished. In, in. Okay. Carlos is bringing his rook out to the center with rook to e1. Mm -hmm.
Having fun? Having fun. Right on. Okay, I'm going to bring my oh, bishop out to f5. Okay. Now, um, George, you're you're. Are you a grandmaster or an expert or what level are you? Well, you're I, a master? I I got the master's title back in 1985. Uh -huh. I never I never became grandmaster. Why not? What, what what stopped you from wanting to do that? Oh, uh, I took a job working the weekends and I kept <laughs> that job for 15 years, so I couldn't play in tournaments anymore. Ah, I see, I see. Cool. You know, I, I was always wondering how many experience points do you need to go up another level here from 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 master to grandmaster kind of a thing. Like, you know, do you have to, how many orcs do you have to slay to get that one? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Boy, oh boy. Dead air. You know, people can call in and represent. Knight on F3 to D2. Guys, if you're, oh, that's you. Carlos Castro. Represent. Playing one. Hey, is there anybody uh, anybody out there that wants to call? You know what? Uh, yeah, if you you could call in and represent. Oh, about which thing? We're we talking about oh Brazil. Oh, we have three callers. Okay, let's let's take the first one. I'm gonna play queen to e8 in this position. Queen to e8. Oh yeah. Um. Also. Uh, you were talking about Brazil before, since, since you are from Brazil. And now you say that Brazil has been very involved with the with Haiti. It always been. It's somehow Brazil always uh, uh, was able to uh, provide help. You know, Haiti in general is a, a, a very poor country, so it can get mm -hmm. all kind of help. And Brazil some have some serious interests on there. I mm -hmm. I used to work with a diplomat that now is our. Uh, ambassador right. in Port Au Prince. Yeah, Port Au Prince. That's and it. My unfortunately, from. our embassy was completely destroyed, uh -huh. but gladly there was no human uh, uh, casualty. Thank goodness. Yeah, but the, the, the effort that we put in, uh, in order to help and rebuild the, 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 the embassy and to help the locals are tremendous. It's like around mm -hmm. the clock. I'm right. going to recapture with my rook to keep the F file open. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I'll be able to use it in the future. Let's see what happens. Tensions mounting. Oh yeah, Hogan, you said there, there were some calls. Do we have any more calls? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, you know you can call in right now. The number is 212. What is it? 212 what? 757 1483, right? Holy cow, I remembered the phone number for once. Doing this show like a million times. Never remember the phone number. Since Carlos is putting pressure on my E5 pawn, I'm gonna defend it by Playing my knight on b8 to d7. Mm -hmm. hmm. Hmm. Fascinating. It is fascinating. Do you have any favorite uh, chess players? Uh, when I was a kid, I used to to like a lot uh, Kasparov uh -huh. and uh, Fischer. Oh sure. Yeah. And sometimes I used to root for one, sometimes to the other. Very aggressive. Yes. But somehow, and I don't mean disrespect, but I, I have, I think the Russians, when it comes down to chess, they, they're at one level ahead in general. A whole another level? They yeah. Take it to the next level. They, they, they really put effort to study the game and, mm -hmm. you know. You'll never guess who my favorite player is. Who? George Grasser. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hear he kicks ass. Yeah, Oof, he's trying. On chess now. <laughs> Queen to g6. All right. Do you have any favorite players that are not? Yeah. I, oh, hold on. What did what, you say? Knight to d7. They have a question about knight to d7. What's the question? Hello? Hello? You have a question? Uh, yeah. Yes. What's your name? Uh, my name is Mike. Hey, Mike. What's uh, up? I just wanted to know uh, why he made that move to uh, D7, his knight. All right, why to, did he move to, to knight? To support my pawn at E5. 
Oh, okay, I see. Right on. Actually, it so, was so good have, you, have you been playing for my dick? Oh, yeah. Yeah, good one. Yeah, like I wasn't waiting for that one. <laughs> good one. He, yeah, you really got us there. He's the same guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, in my deck. That's funny. Yeah, that, I, the, I bet he thought of that one all day. <laughs> Am I getting on the Howard yeah. Stern show with that one? My deck. What, mm. what I find is that the Howard Stern people, they have, they lack intelligence. They're just not very bright people. Even even Howard Stern himself. What? Yo, are you trying to challenge him? To, he's a he's a seventeen hundred player, dude. Yeah, but he's <laughs> not intelligent. Well, how so? I gave him the opportunity to do me a favor, and he did not do it. What was the favor? I was having some trouble with a library down in Florida, uh -huh. but they didn't want me teaching chess there. Yeah. Even though I was doing it free out of the goodness of my heart. Okay. And I. Asked him to help me out. Got absolutely no response from well, him. Maybe it didn't get to him. And dude, no need to, you know, be PO'd about that. Well, All right, what's going on in the game? Wait a second. I am. <laughs> you are. You're holding uh, that. I'm. I'm, star I'm starting to attack. Okay. Okay. So, all right. So, what's going on here? Well. Mm -hmm. I now pressure f4 uh -huh. with my e5 pawn. My rook is in front of his king, which mm -hmm. is never a good thing. Mm -hmm. So, I would say that. In this position, I, I might have a slight edge because I plan on bringing my rook on a8 over to f8, right. bringing more pieces into the attack. Right on. And you know what? It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a, I guess it's a good thing that you're not still down there in Florida because you're over here in New York representing. Yes. So all yes. things happen on time. That's the one thing that I. Do oh, know. I'm I'm not saying that this didn't happen for. A universal That it didn't work out. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. But when I ask people for their help, I normally expect them to actually help me. Well, you know what? Yeah, that's what it is. People do what they do. Oh, hey, what about that job stuff? Anybody? Uh, what was Obama doing with the job thing? Uh oh. Gosh, I had not. I had not even placed this knight on to e4. Oh, get that on there. Okay, so knight, knight to f2. Yeah, yeah, I saw in the paper. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Is he offering jobs? E, F, 4. I don't see any reason why. Are you taking that pawn? Is that pawn just hanging out there doing nothing? Yeah, no, it looks it like it was just hanging out. Seems there. backed up. Oh, I guess not. Well, it can't, it can't be. It's not defended, no. Uh huh. On the G4, and it's attempting to keep me out. Did I mention uh, have a 12 years old daughter? She learned to play chess pretty young. She plays she was, chess? Yeah, she was six when she picked up the moves, and really? uh, by nine she started developing some strategy. Yeah, she's a big fan also of the game. Oh, great. Who's anyway. your favorite player? Knight to E5. Her, her dad. Uh -huh. <laughs> her name is Giovanna, by the way. All right, give me I a think. Shout out. Oh, my. I played knight e5 because yeah. this pawn is uh -huh. pinned. You can't take my queen, so. He's putting. Now is the time that the master start taking He's, over the game. Using his masterly <laughs> abilities. Completely take it over. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, I was thinking that one day we could have, because I know some other people that would like go to chess camp and stuff like that. They'd have a whole bunch of kids come down here and battle it out. Yeah, that'd be nice. Playing pawn to h3 so I can't take uh -huh. the g4 pawn with my knight. So, mm -hmm. But I think I can just put more pressure on it. How? By playing pawn to you h5. Know, I yeah. knew you were going to do that. How? It seemed that what was available. Oh, he's running. He's running. What would one do? So he's moving to where? King to f1. King to f1. Uh, yeah. 
it was too much pressure. Okay. The pressure has to stop. Alright, so now I'm gonna take that pawn. Oops. Whoops. And he takes pawn, takes pawn, pawn, pawn takes pawn. He's pawn, threatening pawn, to take pawn. queen. Good time to exchange mm -hmm. some queens. Yeah, but I gain another pawn. Knight takes pawn. Ah. A knight with his knight. Oh, a knight for him ain't bad. I'll take back with the rook. Ah, oh, why the rook and not the queen? Well, because I don't want to trade queens because I'm going to keep my attack going. Yeah, um, he's in a pretty much uh, better position. Queen to f3. Mm-hmm. Rook to g3. Mm-hmm. Trying to clear that out. Yeah. Kinda. Oh guys, if you're if you if people are out there that are interested in coming down to the Chess Now uh, program and being on the show, um, you know you can call in, represent, and uh, hey, what's going on over here? Queen to H3 check. Queen to H3 check. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm itching to get a caller. Who, who got? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Right. Okay. Yeah. So that pretty Hello. much is the game. Can you hear me? Yeah, I sure can. Who is this? It's over. Hey, hey, this is Kristen. Hey, Kristen. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing Check all right. What's going on? What brings you? Um, in? nothing much. Um, hey, wait. Thanks, the right. game. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. The game just ended. <laughs> yes. what, what happened? Queen G2 is mate. Yeah. Queen G2 is mate. Good game, guys. Well done. Uh, and and uh, what is your name, Kristen? Oh, Kristen. Duh. Good one. So what what's up? Um, I'm waiting I'm for the prank. Guys online on uh, M N N dot org. Oh, very good. Yep. Uh, stream is, is is up and doing well. On the I was just uh, wondering very quickly, uh, which one of you guys had the biggest time? Okay, thank you. All that right, would be me. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Dude, uh, you know, you're, you're so cold, man. All right, thank you for calling in. I, we knew we had to at least get one wacky, one more wacky caller in before the episode was done. What time is it? Because we, we clocked in early, did we? Uh, I, I think society's pretty healthy. They're, they're pretty happy up there. Yes. Uh, no, uh, no, I mean, uh, time-wise. Uh, we're almost out. No, I'm just saying because it's the Obama... Oh, when? Right now? No, last night. Oh, great. And uh, he's going to give everybody jobs, like Santa Claus or something? No, I think people are, are, are doing pretty good. Oh, uh, great. Oh, good, good. Well, uh, I hope some chess players are out there to, are interested in coming down to the show, then, if that'll help. You know, because it's all about this, as opposed to, you know, the State of the Union. No, seriously. Maybe, okay. maybe Josh can make some comments quickly about the game. Oh, yes, yes, please. Well, how did you see the game? In the beginning, mm -hmm. he seemed to seem to play well and then when I when I uh yeah I'm just trying to trying to think of when he went wrong where did he go so oh so terribly wrong I think bishop to e4 was bad bishop to e4 that did Cause, it yeah cuz you you really want to keep when you have a a fianchetto oh. bishop you want to keep that bishop a fianchetto what's that it's when you put the pawn on g3 uh -huh. and you castle kingside and then you put the bishop on g2. Mm -hmm. And you keep on that position. That's called the fianchetto bishop. And you keep on the fianchetto. You, yeah. you, right off the bat, you surprised me with that uh, first initial move. I wasn't expecting that. Pawn to f5. What I usually see is a uh, uh, queen pawn coming. Mm -hmm. Then I offer my bishop pawn as a gambit. And yeah. then yeah. I can yeah. develop my pieces quickly in exchange for one piece sacrifice. Mm. But you got me completely yeah. already off the... N Nakamura plays a different version of the Dutch defense. He, he's uh, one of the only grandmasters that, uh, that has taken it up. Grandmaster Nakamura? Nakamura. Yeah. Boy. 
somehow when I see the opponent play uh, uh, responding with queen, pawn, whatever you play is already uh, one move ahead. That's my opinion. So even if you, if you take my offer or not, it allows me to go one move ahead. But yeah. when you come with that open that you, 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 you present, I say, well, <laughs> no, let's learn. Let's learn something here. Well, I, I didn't feel all too thrilled with the fact that I put my bishop on b7 and then had to move it back, though. So, I so it could know. have been stream, more streamlined, even even further. Uh, the strong strong position for the bishop is yeah. b7. And I should have kept mine there too. But anyway, it was great to play you. Yeah, a learning nice opportunity. Yeah. It's good to be back and playing chess. It's, it's always a, a good exercise. And 